And the serpent said unto the woman, Ye shall not surely die. For God doth know that in the day ye eat thereof, then your eyes shall be opened, and ye shall be as gods, knowing good and evil. Tell them. And never, never, you never can do that in a covenant relationship. Do you know what else that is settled then tonight? This hue and cry and controversy that has been spawned by the devil to try and bring dissension within the body of Christ, that we are gods. I am a little god. Yes. Yes. I have his name. I'm one with him. I'm in covenant relation. Yeah. I am a little God. Critic, you are gone. anything that he is. Yes. And we are it. We are God. God came from heaven, became a man, made man into little gods, went back to heaven as a man. He faced the Father as a man. I face devils as the Son of God. You see what I'm talking about? You say, Benny, am I a little God? You're a son of God, aren't you? You're a child of God, aren't you? You're a daughter of God, aren't you? What, what else are you? Quit your nonsense. What else are you? If you say, I am, you're saying, I'm a part of him, right? Is he God? Are you his offspring? Are you his children? You can't be human. And we are it. We are God. According to Hebrews, that Jesus is our high priest. Absolutely. And he's the first of many brethren, which means I now come into a priestly anointing. So I now can... Say walk. that again, because I they now, don't get it. I now come into a priestly anointing. Jesus is not the only begotten on. Son of God. He is not. I'm a Son of he's God. He's the first fruit. You, you're the, he's the first fruit. He's the first born of many. And we are it. We are God. According to Bishop... Uh, Epiphanius, the Christ is the spiritual self within each person. Clement of Alexandria, church fathers this is. The greatest of all lessons is to know yourself. For when a man knows himself, he knows God. Time and time again it's been said, Corinthians, you are the temple of God, for the temple of God is holy, which temple you are. Origin again, you yourself are even another little world, and have within you the sun and the moon and also the stars. Gospel of Thomas, when you know yourselves, then you will be known. And you will know that you are sons of the living Father. Right? In the silence. But if you do not know yourselves, then you are in poverty and you are poverty. And we are it. We are God. And you know, I was listening to a set of tapes by one man and he explained it like this. And I think this kind of gets the point across. He said, you know, why do people have such a fit about... God calling his creation, his creation, his man, not his whole creation, but his man, little gods. If he's God, what's he going to call them but the God kind? I mean, if you as a human being have a baby, you call it a human kind. If, if cattle has another cattle, they call it cattle kind. So, I mean, what's God supposed to call us? Doesn't the Bible say we're created in his image? Now, in verse 26 and verse 27... God now submits himself to this principle of everything producing after its own kind. And in verse 26 and 27, let's read it out loud. Ready? Read. And God said, let us make man in our image after our likeness and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air and over the cattle and over all the earth and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him. Male and female created he them. Now that's interesting because if everything produces after its own kind, we now see God producing man. And if God now produces man, and everything produces after its own kind. If horses get together, they produce what? And if dogs get together, they produce what? If cats get together, they produce what? But if the Godhead gets together and say, let us make man then what are they producing they're producing gods 
Now I got to hit this thing real hard in the very beginning because I ain't got time to go through all this. But I'm going to say to you right now, you are God's, little g. You are God's because you came from God and you are God's. You're not just human. The only human part about you is this physical body that you live in. And humanity, well, what does the Bible start with? It says we are made in the image of God. What does that mean? We don't have God's knowledge. We don't have God's advancement. We're the image. Well, what is an image? It's a scan. It's numbers. It's the genetics. It's the potential. So we are the aliens, Joe, and everybody already knows this. When I read in the Bible where he says, I am, I just smile and say, yes, I am too. Jesus said that every human being was a God. That is written that you are gods. I'm, I'm a God, God and you're a God. God. And I'm a God, and I'm going to stay a God until you recognize that you're a God. And when you recognize you're a God, I shall go back into principle and will not appear as a personality. You are God. But until I see all of you knowing who you are, I'm going to be very much what I am. God Almighty God! So does God exist? Well, I would say not yet. We are going to become gods. Period. If you don't like it, get off. You don't have to contribute, you don't have to participate. But if you're going to interfere with me becoming God, you're going to have big trouble. Then we'll have warfare. The only way you can prevent me in this, in this 50 or is to kill me. If you kill me, I'll kill you. And we are the guardians of this planet. And if we could prove ourselves at this level, it's a stairway to heaven. Hell from beneath is moved for thee to meet thee at thy coming. It stirreth up the dead for thee, even all the chief ones of the earth. It hath raised up from their thrones all the kings of the nations. All they shall speak and say unto thee, Art thou also become weak as we? Art thou become like unto us? Thy pomp is brought down to the grave, and the noise of thy vials. The worm is spread under thee, and the worms cover thee. How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? How art thou cut down to the ground, which didst weaken the nations? For thou hast said in thine heart, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the Most High. Yet thou shalt be brought down to hell, to the sides of the pit. For the grave cannot praise thee, death cannot celebrate thee. They that go down into the pit cannot hope for thy truth. Then said Jesus unto his disciples, If any man will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your souls. But the meek shall inherit the earth, and shall delight themselves in the abundance of peace. We got a little thief on the line. We got a little pussy on the line. I know, I know that we got a little pussy on the line. But if, come face me head up. Like, don't hide behind no phone. That's what little pussies do. Like, like that's 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 what little pussies do. Number one, number one, you can't face me face to face. You can't face me face to face. You hiding behind some phone like a little pussy. Number one, we done, we done, we done, we done got you out of JHM. You a traitor. So just go on about your business. Why you like get off my dick? Why you on my why you on my dick like that? You still clout chasing? You still look? We got you on video. You did a testimony. So I, I, I'm a, I, I, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a play, I'm a play your testimony where you said out of your own lips what God told you. I, I'm a, I'm a play the same testimony of what you said, and I'm a play. You, you can't say nothing. You number one, 
We all know what you did. So don't get mad because both women that you try to get with ditch you. Both women that you tried to get with in JHM and you tried to hook, you tried to get me to hook you up with women in my ministry. So don't sit right here and flex. And I told you, I told you, I told you that I wasn't going to do it. So don't, don't sit right here and try to flex. You mad because two women ditched you? Get off my dick, man. You mad. What, what you mad for? Like you, you supposed to be a grown man with children. Stop trying to stop trying to trying to follow everything I do. Get a life. Provide for your children. Take care of your children. Take care of your children. You got two children. You shouldn't even be on the line with me. You supposed to be feeding your children. We got grown behind men that's up there on another man's dick. Go take care. Go feed your child. I feed mine. So I mean, all this all this talking behind some phone. You can't even face me face to face. You ain't going hiding. I didn't even publicly talk about you. I just let you slide over to the side. So keep on hiding. Don't try to flex. Because we got you on tape. We got you on tape. All oh, this little small talk. This little small talk. This little small talk. It's you hiding behind some phone. All this small talk you hiding behind some phone. Ain't no real man. And then what's so sad is these are the same very people that I picked them on. I took care of their children. I fed your. I took care of this young man. That's the sad thing. Listen, if we leave Jesus out of this, watch this here. If we take Jesus out of this and we don't even talk about God, I took this young man in. I gave him a prestigious position. I gave him a suit of high honor. Look how they pay you back. Saints, I'm not afraid to tell you this. This is why I haven't been doing a lot of meetings, because right now. A lot of people that I have been good to are the very same people that are plotting against my life. And you, you see it right there. People that I fed. People that I covered. I don't have to say in and out of what I've done for them. Anybody that know Prophet Joshua Holmes, you know how I operate. But what's so sad is look how they repay you. I haven't done the young man nothing. I haven't done the young man nothing. And, and, and I, I never, I never, I never did nothing to him because this not the internet. This between God and him. Look at how you feed people. Look how they repay you. Saints, if I was wicked. I would never do nothing for nobody no more. But I'm not going to change. What I just, I just see wickedness at another level. Tonight, that's, that's, that's your assignment. You go into the Holy Ghost and say, Holy Spirit. Is Prophet Joshua Holmes your man? Are you with Prophet Joshua Holmes? And, and uh, this third question I want you to ask. Are you behind all of Prophet Joshua Holmes' decisions? Are you behind them? Is it you? Chapter 3. This is a true saying. If a man desire the office of a bishop, he desireth a good work. A bishop then must be blameless. The husband of one wife, vigilant, sober, of good behavior, given to hospitality, apt to teach, not given to wine, no striker, not greedy of filthy lucre, but patient, not a brawler, not covetous, one that ruleth well his own house, having his children in subjection with all gravity. For if a man know not how to rule his own house, how shall he take care of the church of God? Not a novice, lest being lifted up with pride he fall into the condemnation of the devil. 
Moreover, he must have a good report of them which are without, lest he fall into reproach and the snare of the devil. If any be blameless, the husband of one wife, having faithful children not accused of riot or unruly. For a bishop must be blameless as the steward of God, not self-willed, not soon angry, not given to wine, no striker, not given to filthy lucre, but a lover of hospitality, a lover of good men, sober, just, holy, temperate, holding fast the faithful word as he hath been taught, that he may be able by sound doctrine both to exhort and to convince the gainsayers. For there are many unruly and vain talkers and deceivers, especially they of the circumcision, whose mouths must be stopped, who subvert whole houses, teaching things which they ought not for filthy lucre's sake. One of themselves, even a prophet of their own, said, The Cretians are always liars, evil beasts, slow bellies. This witness is true. Wherefore, rebuke them sharply, that they may be sound in the faith not giving heed to Jewish fables and commandments of men that turn from the truth. Unto the pure, all things are pure. But unto them that are defiled and unbelieving is nothing pure, but even their mind and conscience is defiled. They profess that they know God, but in works they deny Him, being abominable and disobedient, and unto every good work reprobate. You say, okay, let's call down fire from heaven. Let's, let's see what we answer. So I'm telling everybody, you go, you go to Jesus, you go to Jesus, and you ask him, and you you ask him afresh. But some of y'all think that God changes His mind over time. Go ask him, go ask him, because I was saying in the last video, you let people turn you away from your leader. That dumbass can't deliver you when you stand there before Jesus. When you go to hell, where their punk ass gonna be? They on their way to hell too. You better not let people fool you and get you away from your leader, your man of God, because when they on their way to hell, all hell bound people want other people to go with them. They don't want to go solo. No demon want to go solo. Look when Legion got all them legions out. Them spirits say, can we take, can we take these animals with us? Can we go inside the swine? No demon want to go to hell alone. People up there be trying to take, take the people that I minister. You can't take the people that I minister to away from me. I done labored, I done labored amongst these people. I done delivered these people from demons that they would never share with nobody. There's people that been, I ain't even going to tell y'all, y'all, y'all issues. I ain't, I ain't going to do it to you. But there's people in JHM that they know undeniably what took place with stuff that they had going on in their life. And when they connected to Prophet Joshua Holmes, it, it, the, the spirit left them alone. So, so we, we're not going to go back and forth with all this small talk with people that's irrelevant. Because I'm the voice of this ministry. I'm the king of this ministry. I run this. I'm the God up in here. I'm the boss up in here. I run this ministry. It's not JHM something else. This is Joshua Holmes ministry. And there's been many people that tried to fight me and they all lost. I'm not afraid. I'm the voice of this ministry. I'm the king of this ministry. I run this. I'm the God up in here. I'm the boss up in here. I run this ministry. It's not JHM something else. This is Joshua Holmes ministry. And there's been many people that tried to fight me and they all lost. I'm not afraid. I'm the voice of this ministry. I'm the king of this ministry. I run this. I'm the God up in here. I'm the God up in here. I'm the God up in here. The Bible say, touch not my anointed, do my prophet no harm. These niggas don't read the Bible. I understand that they're retarded. I'm the goal. I'm the goal. I'm the goal. Beware of false prophets which come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ravening wolves. He shall know them by their fruits. Do men gather grapes of thorns or figs of thistles? Even so, every good tree bringeth forth good fruit, but a corrupt tree bringeth forth evil fruit. A good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit, neither can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. Every tree that bringeth not forth good fruit is hewn down and cast into the fire. Wherefore, by their fruits ye shall know them. 
Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that doeth the will of my Father which is in heaven. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name, and in thy name have cast out devils, and in thy name done many wonderful works? And then will I profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity.